new X. Okay, so today we will talk about uh, the servers, how to update the firmware, and uh, how to use the edit software to change the impulse response. Uh, so the first step we will visit uh, newxefx.com, and uh, then we'll go to the products page. So integrated effect. So you can see here is the servers products page enter so here here's the support button so you click the support and uh, from here you could check there is the uh, update and software instruction so click this button uh, you will see how to uh, do the steps so that's the instruction and here is the firmware and the updater so today I use the Mac to do the demonstration. So I will download the Mac version. So you just download, and I already uh, put it here. It's here. Okay. So uh, let's check the steps. So the first step is connect the servers to the PC uh, via the USB port. So I already connect uh, to the PC. So the second step is hold the A and B foot switch and uh, turn on the servers. So I will do it right now. Uh, hold on the A and B foot switch and uh, turn on. So right now you can see the display shows the STA on the screen. So the third step is open the DFU updater and click the uh, select file. So let's do it. So I open this and then uh, I need to select file and click uh, update. So here, um, from the updater you can see uh, the device already be uh, connected. So right now I will select the file and I will choose the firmware. The firmware is the BIM file. So open it and while you open the firmware you can see what we update in uh, this version. So let's click start. So it will start to run the update. Let's wait it. So while you update, uh, you could check the status here and you will also see the screen will show you how many percentage are uh, complete. Okay, so uh, even the software shows it's complete, but we still need to wait. Right now it stay at the 99 percentage. We need to wait it. And uh, the screen shows SUC, it means success. So we update the firmware of servers right now. So, okay. Then I will repower servers. So right now I could use the edit software so let's check how to use that so here is the software i click it okay so uh the screen also shows all the device connected so you can see something like this something like this i change the routing so it shows this and if i tweak the different modulation effect. The screen also shows different model. So here you can see the status. Okay, so the most uh, important thing is uh, for the edit software, uh, we could change the IR file. So we have eight different IR file as our default in the edit software. So here we have the uh, JG120, 
it, uh, this is based on the Roland Just Cross 120. And here the DR 120, uh, 112, sorry. The DR, it means the Fender Deluxe Reverb. And the, the BS 410, it's the Fender Bassman. And here the A212, it's the uh, Vax AC30. And the, this TR212, it's the uh, Fender Twin Reverb. And the, the 1960 is the Marshall, very famous cabinet. And this one, green, are uh, the GB412. It means the selection uh, green back 412. And here, the V412. It means the selection vintage 30 412. So, uh, for example, if I choose this, okay the IR file will change so you could hear the sound will be a little bit different and if I choose another one so it's a little bit different so later I will show you uh, what's the main difference between these eight uh, IR files and here you could also load the third party IR file but today I won't demo this part. Uh, you could choose or download uh, from the third party part. And uh, you could also export all of your preset, but right now it's the beta version. So we don't have the parameter here. We just show the status. So in the near future, we will release the full version. <coughs> but uh, one thing I want to remind, remind you is here you could check the MIDI button. So uh, you could check all the device, all the parameter, what's the uh, MIDI CC signal. And uh, you could also change it just like this. You could change as you want. Okay. So for example, uh, the most interesting thing is this one. Uh, this is the uh, tap first switch. So for this one, if we enable as a remote, so you could send the MIDI signal uh, through the Cerberus. So you could use it to remote uh, your amplifier. So right now, if you enable the tap first switch as the remote switch uh, in the manual mode, you could use the delay as tap tempo. Uh, that's our pattern, smart tap tempo. One, two, three, four. So that's it. Okay. Right now you send the CC signal. And in the meantime, the eight foot switch will become smart tap tempo. So here you could see it shows the speed and the original default is this. You could use the tap full switch to assign a speed one, two. So here is only the on and the off. So that's the main difference. So now we will test uh, the different impulse response file and let's hear the sound. So in the beginning, I take off the cap simulation. So uh, let's hear the sound. So this is the clean sound and uh, I use the distortion Let's hear the difference. Okay, so uh, right now I will add the JG120. So let's hear the sound.
That's here the difference for the overdrive. In the beginning, I take off the cap simulation. Okay, so uh, through the video, you could hear the difference between uh, different impulse response. So it's quite useful. You just line out to the PA system and you could get the correct guitar sound. Let's check it out. See you next time. Bye. So this version, uh, we update something. For example, for the preset, uh, like the we. Right now we use the 1A, so we could see 1A we have the distortion. So the update thing is, okay, you could slowly to tweak and uh, like here. If there is a dot, it means the preset level is 45 so you could get the original preset and uh, uh, the second part is if we set up the MIDI MIDI parts uh, we could assign the tap tempo tap switch as a remote control so we could enable it and uh, here click OK so while you click this in manual mode so right now you send the CC signal and in the meantime 
the eight foot switch will become smart tap tempo. So here you could see it shows the speed and the original default is this you could use the tap foot switch to assign a speed one two so here is only the on and the off so that's the main difference